Hi, this is Kyle, and contrary to what it might look like, I'm not actually a hitman. What we've got here is a shotgun microphone. Now, lots of people buy shotgun microphones as their initial investment for their film audio, but they neglect to buy the accessories that go with it. And a lot of people say, well, I've heard about wind noise and all that, but I'm just going to get a foam windscreen and slide over the top, and that should do the trick. Well, I'm here to tell you that if you're going to film outside, that's not going to do the trick. So let's do some demonstrations of what I'm talking about here. So we've got this shotgun microphone on. Should we have some audio? We're going to turn on a fan to simulate wind noise. Let's turn that fan on. Now I've got the microphone pointed up and away from the wind, but listen to what happens when I bring the microphone into the wind pattern. Pretty strong rumbling there. So we're going to mute the microphone for just a second. We'll slide the foam windscreen on. We'll turn the microphone back on, same level. And we're going to do it. Still got some wind noise in there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try a blimp. Blimp windscreen followed by a fuzzy rat or a fuzzy windscreen or a wind muff. It goes by many different names. So let's see what that looks like. Now we have the blimp windscreen, which creates a dead airspace around the microphone on the, uh, on the same microphone on the same shock mount. Let's hear what that sounds like. Pretty dramatic reduction in the noise. And next we're gonna do the fuzzy windscreen on the top of that. So let's see what that sounds like. All right, and finally we have the wind muff or fuzzy rat or Chewbacca's dead foot, as I like to call it. Here we go. Significant difference in the sound quality, isn't it? So next time you buy a shotgun microphone, make sure and buy all the accessories. If you're going to film outside, they're a must. Good luck out there. This is Kyle saying goodbye.